Today is the 2018 Learning and Development Forum here at Highgate House. The Sundial Group organise this each year and it's an opportunity for learning and development professionals to get together from their different roles, their different employers and share time, learn from each other. So this is a learning and development event for learning and development professionals. I think it's just a really great opportunity to network and find out what's going on out in the bigger, wider world. To find out more about what's going on in the market, so new ways of training, thinking, doing things a little bit differently. There's the opportunity to network, which is also really important, but to stay ahead on trend and, and what's new, what's fresh. I don't honestly know what I'm going to get, but uh, different perspectives, learning on um, uh, things that I haven't thought about. I'm always interested to see new speakers, so uh, there's quite a list of people I don't know. Yeah, pushing the boundaries, pushing things forward, hearing what's new and um, yeah, ensuring that we're being progressive. New ideas, a little bit of networking and a good cup of coffee. Glenn was our opening speaker and this is the third year he's spoken about how your brain works, uh, psychology, taking a bit more time, being aware of when you're making emotional decisions. Who's fallen out with Alexa? Pam Bateson was our second speaker. She has a very modern approach to coaching, making coaches available to people, democratising coaching so that it's not just available to the C-level executives of organisations. I came to talk about the future proofing L&D and how to use tech and digital with humans to uh, provide a great employee experience. Tech is in every part of our life now, whether it's Alexa, whether it's Prime, whether it's Netflix, every employee has a computer, everyone has a company phone these days, and so tech is in every part of our lives and is being designed more and more into jobs. There has to be a purpose, an end result, a goal. Third presenters were Lily and Josh, and they, they gave a really animated presentation about the power of storytelling. So when you're pitching, well, I'm really looking forward to hearing from Natalia. She's had a really varied background and has achieved amazing things which most people would only dream of achieving. She was part of a team of four ladies that rode across the Pacific. It's incredible that we are all so different and we need to embrace our differences. Doing the row and putting myself in such extreme situations or extreme circumstances would make me have to go quite deep within to find that strength of spirit that I think we all have. It's just not that often we put ourselves in situations where we have to find it. And you know they say your hair starts to self-clean after a certain amount of time? That's not true. <laughs> It's allowed me to truly believe and have this tangible experience of the fact that we can do anything we set our minds to. Steve is going to follow Natalia and he's going to give us an insight into better management of our time. Because you are in control of what happens. Maybe it just stops. Hannah is going to be talking about quite a hot topic nowadays. A lot of employers have realised that they need to take some responsibility to support their employees with mental health. Mental health is one of the biggest issues today. And she's going to talk about wellness and about understanding how you can create an organisation where people feel valued. Challenge these at your peril. This is where the red tape comes from. This is where people start to get angsty if they're not in control of what's going to happen and redundancy. Well, I've been really impressed with the quality of the speakers we've had this year. It's going to be quite a hard act to follow, actually. But we've already got some ideas we're cooking up. I don't want to say too much about it, but I know next year is going to be a further improvement. This is the fourth year that we've run this workshop, and I feel that it's going from strength to strength.